After the boys were born, um, I decided to move back to Huntington where I grew up. Uh, they were six months old when we moved back to California. Um, Huntington's really cool. It's uh, a beach town. Uh, people are either surfing, skating, snowboarding's not too far. Um, it's a pretty cool place to grow up. The boys are real active, you know, they, uh, they love the ocean, they love the beach, they, they surf as much as they can, they, skate, they skateboard, they, they go fishing down the street. It's real easy to stay active around here with a bunch of positive things to do. Uh, jiu jitsu is the main sport in our family. Like, everyone trains it, or I mean, I used to train it, but uh, my daughter, my husband trains. He's a black belt now. Um, so it's definitely been the main sport in our house, you know, which we all like to focus on. We'll all go put on our geese and go into the garage, and we'll just have fun, you know? We'll just drill techniques, or my daughter says she made up a move, you know? We are, all right, Naya, good job, you know? Or, you know, we just go out there and train. It's good exercise, we have fun doing it, and it's, it's like not something we think about, it's just something we do. Definitely jiu-jitsu uh, keeps us bonded together, you know. Um, we all love jiu-jitsu. Um, it's, a, it's a great sport, you know. Uh, we don't put pressure really on anyone to train. We just make sure that we're just, you know, enjoying it. You have to enjoy it or else you're not going to want to do it. They just go out there and charge. We've always asked them, what do you guys want to do when you get older? And jujitsu is their answer every time, you know. Uh, they don't want to be doctors, you know. Uh, they don't want to work in an office. They want to own their own school someday and teach jujitsu and travel and teach jujitsu. And that's what they've always said since they were little. And it's pretty impressive because it seems like they knew what they wanted to do at a young age. And it's never, it, it hasn't changed yet. And we're stoked on that because, you know, we're here to support them. Even, even if it did change, we're here to support whatever they want to do. Hoy es the weekday, the day number, the, and the month. For example, hoy es miércoles. I decided to homeschool them in fourth grade. Um, it, it actually started from, uh, it stemmed from a couple bullies at the school, to be honest. Um, for years, these two kids would bully not just my kids, but all the other kids in the school. The physical bullying, my kids could handle. You can't stop them from verbally saying things. And for me, at such a young age, I didn't want them to get jaded from these things that they were hearing. It was vulgar, racial, just disgusting things that were coming out of this little kid's mouth. And I'm like, I don't want my kids to get jaded from this. My kids are too good. Like, they're too nice. The boys are, are actually really positive and happy kids, and, and that I'm thankful for. Um, I mean, they stay positive in non-positive, you know, occurrences, you know, or incidences. Um, so I, I actually learn from them, you know, a lot because they make a bad situation positive somehow. I still get the butterflies when they compete. I don't know why. It just, I don't know. <laughs>